Good morning, it is Thursday and I am off to the Knitting and Stitch show in London, hence I actually have some makeup on my face. I am wearing a dress which I don't think I've shown you yet, um, it is the Sunshine Dress by Patterns for Pirates, or is it made for mermaids? No, it's Patterns for Pirates um, and I've made it in this leopard print jersey so I'll show you more of that in a what I've been sewing video but it's considerably nicer this year than it was last year. I'm going to insert a little bit of footage here of me on my way to the Knitting and Stitch show last year. So we've made it to the station, the trains are running but they are very delayed so we're looking like 15 or 20 minutes until we get on our train and then it's going to go super slow all the way to London but I've got hot chocolate, we're okay. And as you can see, yes it's not particularly sunny but there's no snow and it isn't particularly cold. So I'm going to walk up to the station, jump on the train and head into London. when you get out of the train on the overground at Olympia don't turn left and walk all the way to the front of the building turn right duck round the back here that way <laughs> and you're going straight into the back of the main hall which means you are going against the crowd because most people go in through the front door up to the back door now but it's starting to rain which is yucky although a little bit of an improvement on last year's snow and it looks like I've got to the door just as a coach is offloading so it might take me a little while to get in after all just check out all this gorgeous mat fabric it's so lovely if you were making a raincoat for a little girl it's just perfect you've got unicorns more aztec prints there's foxes and bunnies and then down here there's cats and they go into cottons as well so they're just gorgeous all the foxes with hats on I remember the days when I used to do all the way up one side, all the way down the other of Nile, and I'd visit each individual stall, whether I was interested in what it was selling or not. I'd pour over everything, um, but I don't do that anymore. I've literally done the first row already, and I've been in here less than five minutes. There's some absolutely beautiful things, um, but when you kind of get into that zone that you know what you like, you just don't look at stuff. I've bypassed loads of cross-stitch stalls, loads of quilting stalls, all things that are amazing, don't get me wrong, but they just don't float my boat so I can see me being in and out of here fairly quickly um, but I am going to try and hang around till two o'clock so that I can catch up with the lovely Sean from Kindish Behaviour and some of my fellow sewing buddies. I think Elspeth might need a Dilly and the Buttons Cleo in this fabric it's the fantastic upholstery fabric that she's used before for many things um, but this one's got all these fabulous llamas all over it sneaky peek for you ladies I'm at the Tilly in the Buttons stall and here is their new Eden pattern which I believe is only available here at the show at the moment but they're also selling kits and we've got all of the samples which is really nice to be able to just have a look and see how the garments are supposed to be made <laughs> including sort of the original pieces from Tilly's original Love at First Stitch book and then things from the stretch book so the BB skirt and the Stella hoodie which I've just made and I still need to track down this fabric because I need to make a frayer in this it's so lovely and if you haven't got the book already you can have a good flick through as well which is always really nice Black Sheep is a really nice stool as well because you get to see the samples of all the big blankets that are really popular right now and you can buy all the kits as well. So there's quite a lot of Janie Crow's ones up there and some of Lynn Rose blankets as well. 
you also get the chance to dive into the big juicy wool pile and see if you can find a sweater quantity of yarn but I'm going to skip that one today because I think I have enough in my stash. I am quite tempted by a ball of just bulk standard sock yarn though. It's been a long while since I cast on a pair of socks um, and I just fancy a nice easy bit of travel knitting although saying that this scarf looks really pretty and it's knitted with the Starcraft head over heels sock yarn but I think it would take forever but just in case you want to do it yourself it is the zigzag scarf by Christy Cam. Love, I love this wool like fabric it's gorgeous gorgeous colours could you see it in a really big circle skirt or one of those coats with the big floaty bits and bobs I'm going to look and potentially see if I can see a pattern for it. Mr Mac wants me to do his waistcoat in like a brown tweedy fabric. I'm wondering about this one but it's got a little bit of blue in it and I'm not sure it's quite right and if I did this I think he might look like a farmer. Thank you. These are the beach pyjamas um, which are by Till the Sun Goes Down and I know Sean's made these from Kittenish Behaviour and I know one of my ladies Jane has made them too and I didn't really like them if I'm honest but now I can see them in the flesh I think I am going to buy the pattern for this and I have just seen the perfect fabric on the Sew Me Something stand um, which is just perfect for this pattern I've done it so I'm going to go back to sew me something and buy some of this gorgeous gorgeous fabric that I've just seen it's a beautiful rayon it's got birds all over it it's absolutely stunning and it drapes beautifully it is horrendously busy here today not like last year when the snow came really fighting your way through the crowds on a Thursday so goodness knows what it's going to be like at the weekend how pretty is this gorgeous fabric what makeup is it again did you say it's a rayon it's a viscose crepe viscose crepe yeah but it's so lightweight and drapey, it's just gorgeous, look at that. It's gonna be so pretty with all these lovely birdies on it. Very vintage chic. <laughs> so I've got my fabric, got my pattern. I'm gonna go back to Till the Sun Goes Down and just check out exactly what I need with regards to your bindings and belts, etc. Because looking at this one, you can see the binding is done in a contrast in black and then the belt ties are done in a black too. So I'm thinking I probably need something maybe in a mustard colour or even in this lovely red. What do you reckon? I love this big Afghan cardi. How cool is that? It's got all sorts of amazing garments. Um, this is a pattern you can download it. Um, Spots and Stripes and it is by Katie Jones Knit. So I am going to have a look at that when I get back home because I think that is gorgeous and would make a really nice crochet along in our free group. Not on our site obviously but... I've just, just seen this lovely jumpsuit. It's actually a dress but there is a jumpsuit too which is Simplicity 1385 did you 1355. say? 1355. Um, so the lovely Mark's just given me the pattern number and I might just have to have a little look for some jersey now. starving although I am very tempted to a cheeky Prosecco. This stool is one of Elspeth's favourite fashion retailers. They've got some gorgeous things and I particularly like all of their pottery and socks and t-shirts. Gorgeous. Right up Elspeth Street. Okay, so I've done the main hall. I'm now going to go into the smaller hall, which is where there's some more fabric stalls. Um, the light in here is disgusting. I look like Morticia Adams. You would never think I put bronzer on this morning. So I've discovered the lovely Alison. Give us a wave, Alison. One of my clients, and she's helping out on the UK hand knitting stall today. But look, she has nearly finished her honey cardigan. So she might beat me to it. It's looking gorgeous. Is that contrast? Yeah, so it's different to that one, isn't it? It's the boho spirit signet yarn. It's ever so soft, isn't it? Lovely. But you're right, it's quite heavy and drapey. You thought it's nice though. Lovely, well done. 
this is the Rosenberg stand where I normally get lots of fabric but actually I really can't be doing with fighting with these crowds I can't even get in to see what they've got so I am gonna bypass this one today just bought myself a meter of this cotton um, with alpacas and llamas and cactuses all over it I thought it might make some cute project bags this is definitely the year for printed jersey last year I was complaining that there just wasn't enough choice and now there is so much jersey, it's so good to see. I've even found some jersey with sloths on it on the Higgs and Higgs store, which is gorgeous. So cute, but I don't know what I'd make with it. Likewise, if you're a mummy or you know someone that's going to become a mummy, check out all this muslin. Now, when I had my babies, I had plain, boring, white muslins. But look, you could buy ones with rose gold spots and you could just hem up your own squares, your own muslin squares, make them whatever size you want. So I'm at the textile centre stand and I love the way that they've draped their fabrics around the mannequins to make them look like dresses. I'd actually really like to wear that dress and that dress and that dress, but they're not dresses at all. They've just draped the fabric, which is super clever. So it's 10 to one and I can honestly say I'm done now. I haven't seen anything else that I want. Um, there's things that I need, but I actually can't be bothered to fight the crowds to get them. I'm actually really tempted to hop on the tube to Shepherd's Bush and um, just go through to the Goldhawk Road Market. I'm so close um, and I know that I can get exactly what I want there. But the other part of me thinks, can I really be bothered and would I rather just pop to Westfields for a spot of shopping? But anyway, I'm going to hang around for an hour. I would love to catch up with Sean and the other guys. Um, so I'm going to find a corner somewhere to sit down and catch up on my book. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Look who I found. The lovely Sean and this is Debbie. We're trying to persuade Debbie to come to our throw along class for the necessary clutch wallet. October. You have a October. Month. Yeah, I'll work. It's good. Although yeah. saying that there's only four places left. So if you want to come, to yeah, you need quick. to book. Yeah. <laughs> I am and you. I'm gonna head home now because I am pooped and I cannot face these crowds any longer. I fought my way into the Rosenberg stall and I found this gorgeous grapey, drape, grapey? drapey jersey. Um, you can tell I've just met up with Sean though, can't you? Because, you know, check out this Hawaiian palm tree kind of print. So this is gonna be my Sean made me do it garment. So I've just noticed this sign on my way out, which is worth knowing. Um, if you like this show here at Olympia, this is the last time that you're gonna be able to come because they're going to be moving from here to the Business Design Center in Islington. Um, and I'm not sure that that's actually as easy to get to, but the joys of Islington is that you do mean that you can visit So Over It, um, oh gosh, Ray Stitch, and also Luke while you're there. So that's quite good. So it's now raining, it's disgusting. I don't feel like shopping. I'm not gonna fight with the Gold Hawk Road. I've just picked up a little bit of extra fabric, so I don't feel quite so bad. Um, it's thinning out in there now, so it's not quite so bad. Um, so if you are gonna go at the weekend, and maybe, although you won't see this now, it'll be too late, but you might wanna think about going after lunch um, and you can get your stuff done. So I'm going to brave the tube home instead of the overground because it means I can get off at Liverpool Street, which means I can have a little look around Oliver Benass, which is a shop that I absolutely love and I don't get to go in very often. So I shall sign off now. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll do a little haul on what I purchased um, and I'll tell you that at some point in one of my sewing videos. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Well, I've just got home and I realised that I filmed that entire vlog um, with the wrong light setting on my camera. I must have inadvertently hit a button that I didn't mean to hit. So now I no longer look blue and like Morticia Adams, but it's too late to go back. I probably could do some editing in my editing software, but I wouldn't have a clue where to start. So apologies if everything was blue. I also realised I said I'd do a little haul, um, which is all well and good except all the things that I bought you've already seen me buy. So there's little point in that to be honest, but I thought while well, we're now in decent light I would just show you. So the crepe 
viscose crepe that I bought from Sew Me Something, first of all. Oh, I thought it was a flaw in the fabric. It's not, it's just got a big crease in it. Um, but it's beautiful. So you can see it's got all these lovely kind of birds of paradise on it. It's really, really pretty. Very, very drapey. Um, I am actually going to make the beach pyjamas, um, but I'm not going to cut them straight out of this um, because I am a little bit concerned about the fit. I fall smack bang between the 14 and the 16, um, but in the finished measurements, I easily fit in the 14. So I want it to be figure hugging, but not too tight, but also not too baggy. So I'm going to make a 12 just out of some similar, just like bed sheets, to be honest. I'm not obviously gonna worry with the ties or the binding or anything else, but I will just sew up something so that I can see what the fit is like before I cut into this beautiful fabric. Um, I can't remember what this cost me um, per meter, I do know it was £48, so if you wanted to divide £48 by three, that's how much it was per metre. <laughs> so, that's the maths for that one. Um, the second thing I bought was a metre of just plain quilting cotton um, with these lovely alpacas and cactuses on it. Um, this is just going to go into the stash and at some point I will make some project bags with it. And then the last thing was the lovely viscose jersey from uh, Rosenberg's. My brain's not in gear. Um, which is in this lovely kind of tropical print. And I'm either going to make that simplicity jumpsuit that I showed you earlier that Mark showed me at Girl Charlie. Or I'm going to make myself a kilo wrap dress. Uh, but this was only £4 a metre and I got three metres of it so there's plenty of it which is great. I have made a kilo with a metre and a half of fabric before and it's very wide so you never know. I might even get two garments out of this, we shall see. But I'm going to order that simplicity pattern later on today have a look at it see what i think the one that was hanging up was a dress version but mark tells me there is a jumpsuit version and i am a queen of jumpsuits so that is the one that i shall be making all being good so i really am going to say goodbye now thank you so much for watching um please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you soon bye